And be on offense under Kenny Pickett. Pickett the junior out of New Jersey to throw long this time and caught. Complete to Mack. To make up a big first down before he's taken down by Blackwell. Mack, it's one-on-one -on -one coverage. Blackwell's got him, and this ball's underthrown by Kenny Pickett, but you see him just do a good job of seeing the ball in the air. A great game against Penn State, 372 yards. Throwing right away again, and that one complete to French. French trying to scamper in. He's taken down for a loss. Swarms to the football. Matt Guerreri, the defensive coordinator for Duke, said, Hey, listen, we coach our guys to say, where are you when the whistle blows? Well, look at that picture right there. Pick it out of the gun. Steps up in the pocket. Throws on the move and dropped. In and out of the hands of French and incomplete. By the Giants, the man who replaced Eli Manning. And looking to throw on first down and complete. And that will pick up a first down. Quick hit to Aaron Young, taken down by Paris Ford. And you just look at the job that Young does winning on the slant against. Third and eight, there's that empty look. On the throw short, and complete to Noah Gray, the talented tight end who they've been raving about this season. Had a great feel, you see him off to your right, just running a little out route and does a great job of pushing the leverage. I think guys have seen the game as a quarterback which helps them understand what other guys, you know, what other positions are, positions are doing. A oh, big hit to stop Bracey. Got to keep Pittsburgh out of their crazy blitzes on third and long. Durant on the run and powers ahead. And a big decision here is he's short on this. Stopped by Phil Campbell. Harris straight ahead. Powers in. He's got himself a first down. For 24 sacks for Pitt on the pass rush. But he's sneaking in there. You see more velocity on those throws, as you said, and people give him credit for. That was complete to Aaron Young. Junior out of Prattville, Alabama. And Duke trying to get on the board here. And that one is good. And they'll find different ways to get French the football, as they do right here. Going to run it out to the left. And take it down by Marquise Waters to bring up third down and one. So from the 26, it's French again, right side this time. And no chance to move. Corralled by Michael Carter. Now they're running to the right. Stick your foot in the ground and get up the field. Understand the down and distance. It's not a second and six run. So Chris Dulu to punt again. We came on the air talking about Pitt's defense so far. Duke with a very stout effort. That drives back Blackwell. Trying to get to the 40 and short of there. Trying to throw it. Now he's going to run it. Takes a pretty good hit. Ball came free. Harris brings it out. Harris lost the handle on it. Pitt says that they have it. Let's see what happens when they untangle the pile here. As he definitely lost control of the football at the very end, taking a pretty good whack. And Pitt will have the football. Yeah, you see, he, he's just trying to, you know, kind of split two defenders and get go for the first down. He was trying to work to Noah Gray, who was getting doubled, which is why there was room to run for Quentin Harris. And Cam Bright and Kylan Johnson just kind of, you know, collide with him. And end up looks like Ken Bright maybe gets his, sh his shoulder pad or his helmet on the football. Pick it again, wants to put it in the air. And that one looked like it was tipped as a flag on the play. Michael Carter got his hand on the pass. This will be his fourth punt already. Gets this one away. Blackwell with a fair catch. And Harris back by himself. Wants to throw it nearly. And in fact, it is intercepted. Picked off by Pitt. Ford into the end zone. Touchdown. A tip and then the pick six.
does, and it's that defense that's been playing well all season long, but not coming up with turnovers. They do it here as Paris Ford is able to walk this one. How banged up they've been at linebacker. Yeah, they love his veteran presence. Second down and eight for Harris. And another interception again is Paris Ford. Ford heading the left side, a flag down. But another pick. The second one of the night for number 12. Concept. Noah Gray is going to come on the shallow cross, and then they're going to run a basic cross in behind it. The problem is, is that Paris Ford just ends up sitting back here, and they don't end up, see, he doesn't end up seeing him. As he's trying to throw that basic cross, Paris Ford's just reading his eyes, doesn't move, and he throws it right to him. He's been termed unconventional. Starts by putting in about 200 plays in the fall camp. French will be dragged down. Taken down by Dylan Singleton, outstanding free safety for the Duke Blue Devil. No, not at his age. Second down and seven. Off the play action fake. He'll fire again and complete. French took a pretty good knock, but he picks up the first. You know, maybe that's what happens with Pitt. The last, you know, ACC game they played was in August. They got further down. Yep, Mac. It's a reception, but stopped by Brandon Hill. And that one is on target and perfect. On uh, a field goal, then ripped off 31 unanswered points. So their offense can certainly get rolling. It has not been doing that tonight. And a short throw. Another flag is down on a completion to Bracey. And Harris with 26 seconds to go in the quarter. Trying to scamper to his left. And stopped by Cam Bright in my dreams. <laughs> so Duke to punt. And French back for it. With a fair catch. The temperatures have finally dropped. Big heat wave here over the last week or so. On the pass and completed. To Griffin Stewart, the number two tight end. First and ten for the Panthers on the move here. Pick it back to throw. Stepping up, now scampering. Picks up the first down as he slides ahead. Pick it. He's working to his right. They're trying to get a little wheel route to French. He doesn't like it. And then you just see, you know, the competitiveness getting up the field. And you just think about this, you know, at the end, he slides feet first. You know, Hill's coming in behind. He missed last week because of the shoulder injury. Not afraid to, to tuck it and run it. For Duke and their ability to tackle in the open field. Third and 18. Nearly picked off by the Duke Blue Devils. Dylan Singleton has been real active, the senior. There's another flag. It's actually two quarterbacks, Dave, because Jeff George Jr. is down to the right. And a broken play, and that one dies early. On the run by Carter. Kobe Kwanzaa there for the stop. Third down and one. And the quarterback keeps it. To pick up the first down. Yeah. Hydrated halftime. Second and ten on the back pedal, and that pass is tipped and caught. What great concentration on a couple of plays on this drive by French. Kick it. Doesn't get enough air under this football. It's really underthrown, but Hill jumps up to lose the ball to third and 14. He'll throw again. Oh, tough, tough catch on the play by Jared Wayne. By Swain, you see the play action that gets the defense moving side to side, and then Swain is coming across the middle. Middle extending your hands there, really well done. Gain of 17, and that pass picked off, intercepted by the Duke Blue Devils. Trying to force the ball inside. Waters doing an excellent job of looking up the receiver. Well, in empty again here on third down and five. Calhoun. Can't get free. Then six and a punt. Yeah, and these empty sets, they're trying to go with a little wide receiver screen. You just see the way that the speed and athleticism. Third down and one. It's Carter again. Looking for that first down. Bouncing outside. No power back, but running with some power. 
He'll throw and complete. Taysier Mack on a connection. Pickett has to move. Throws and incomplete. Wanted Mack again, but came up empty. Kicks like this do not give him any difficulty at all, and he nails that one. Pitt on top, 13-3 to at Duke. This is number one target, has been number five, Jalen Calhoun. And threw a 25-yard touchdown pass against Virginia Tech on the pressure. Nowhere to hide there. So Parker has to punt again. He gets it off. And it's French to take to the left. Across the 50-yard line. He cuts it back inside. Still on his feet across the 30. Across the 20. And taken down on a terrific run. French being a guy that once the ball was in his hands at wide receiver, that's why they've been handing them football in the run game. And then look at him go in the return game. It's a good job with a pick group creating a wall for him. He's able to get to the sideline and then cut across the field. And another great starting point for that pit offense inside the 20-yard line of Duke. Thanks to a 50-yard return. French was top 10 nationally last year in kick return yardage. Duke Blue Devils, first and 10. Just over two minutes to go before halftime. Going to try it here for Mack, and a catch in the end zone. An outstanding grab for a touchdown. Taysir Mack. Motion out here, and you have three receivers out here. That is going to force a rotation by the secondary. They do that, which means you have one-on-one -on -one down the bottom of your screen, and that's your best wide receiver running on a corner, and it gives an easy opportunity for your quarterback to have the decision made before the ball is snapped, and then just give to Sear Mack a chance to go up and find the football. I, I think for you know what Whipple wants to do, and, and having an understanding of why he's calling plays that he's calling, and that's a good example. Right after a big play, taking a shot, knowing what your offense coordinator wants you to look at. Deion Jackson, the running back, along with Harris. Off the pump and broken up. It, you know, with throwing it more than the running it, if they're getting production. Yeah, he's an outstanding offensive guy. What a hit there on Carter as he's taken down by Brandon Hill with authority. Basically, fires his gun. He sees the offensive lineman pulling, sees Valique Carter coming across, and just sees it there. And that's just an excellent job being instinctive. It necessarily <laughs> was the case there, but maybe after this game is done. And on a handoff, it's Sibley trying to get a little more room off the left to bring up third down, tackled by Hornbuckle. Ten. After the penalty. Some pressure. And a big, big hit. That's a late hit. Brandon Hill is up another first down. Pick it to throw to the sideline. To Mac again. Four out of five on third down. Sibley on the move. And shy of the first. Gonna go to Hail Mary here. And the final second of the first half, and he's not going to get away. He's going to be sacked. It's being a smart football team, which is what they have been throughout the early part of the season. Harris rolling, a flag down, incomplete pass. Intended for Noah Gray, the tight end, but a flag down. I think we get to bait that throw a little. I mean, it was <laughs> no. right to his hands. Outstanding throw. Big hole opening up here for Sibley across the 50-yard line with a huge gain in the first down. He'll pick up 25 yards. The movement, and they look at Cradle get up to the second level on Hill, and that's really what allows Sibley to get into the second level with, without contact, and then you see the finish of the run. Pick it back in. Steps up in the pocket, that dissolves, and down he goes. Hit by Hornbuckle. Pit play this year, it's an excellent job of the guys up front. Look at the, the pocket that he has. I think he's just eager to climb up into it. And again, they lead the ACC in passing attempts. Pitt attempting about 27 per game. 
On a fair catch. Right there at the 15. He probably scores if he can make a good throw. No time this time. The ball is free. And Pitt has it again. Baker, the left guard and left tackle, don't pass off the twist. And you see Des Alexander just get to Harrison. You know, Jones is there as well. Ball comes out, and that's why Alexander is able to recover it. And there's your sack. And not only that, it's your sack fumble for that pit defense. Big and oh, rolling right. Looking to the end zone. Touchdown. Griffin Stewart with a catch. And they do not wait around. They bang it in quickly. And then Kenny Pickett able to cap it off to his tight end. Third and one. And up again for Jackson, but he runs right into a wall there. Brightwell, first man to get to him. Quentin Harris wants to throw and got it there in time. Got it to Aaron Young. And French back at the 25. He's broken one off for 50. And this one to play on a bounce. He scoops it, trying to get out of there, but can't. Well covered by the special teams of the Blue Devils. Took a lot of notes and had the time of his life flagged down as he is back to pass and is broken up. Incomplete. Josh Blackwell back for the punt. Got his leg into that. Blackwell taken down as he crossed the 30. You know, into November, and that's going to look like a critical game. Play fake and a complete pass right over the middle. And complete to Calhoun to pick up the first down. An important call here for Harris. And off once again for Jackson. Let's see if they got it here. Paris Ford in for the hit. Looks like they picked it up. They try to trickery here in the pass. That's going to be picked off. Dane Jackson. And Jackson finally taken down. There's a flag on the play. Back at the 26-yard line. Basically what they're going to do is they're going to come this way as uh, Harris goes out there. And it's Jackson here who's going to get some depth. But look, I, you never feel great about non-quarterbacks throwing the football. But this ball is going to land on the 35-yard line, I, or the 25-yard line. I don't know how that's not catchable. And there's no question. In the pocket. Now Lane stopped it off. Kinds of pressure on Kenny Pickett, and they're trying to run a shallow cross to his right. French is, you know, instead of coming underneath Waters, goes over the top, and so as Pickett tries to throw it away, there's no receiver in the area, and that ball doesn't get. So Pitt to punt. Mr. Dulu got it off and really drove it. Another flag back at the 30-yard line on a fair catch. But a flag here. What was the call? Okay, that was the call. Okay, now I know who to yell at. Okay, <laughs> uh, they, they, okay. Wait a second. You called that and we didn't block it? Harris to throw. Nobody home there. Incomplete intended for Noah Gray. Now Parker has been very busy punting the football tonight. Paris Ford, who has two interceptions, drops it. He fumbles it there control. right around the five-yard line. Duke may have it. The initial indication to and indeed they do. Harris under center. Wants to keep it. Driving forward. And he tiptoes into the end zone for a touchdown. Quentin Harris. So immediately they turn that turnover into big points to get right back in the game. You know, and here's what it is. They're bringing the motion here. It's a fake dive, and then it's going to be a quarterback follow. In Chambers, 67, the right guard, does a great job of continuing to fight with his man and giving Quentin Harris an alley to follow the, the back Jackson into the end zone. A good job of that Duke offense jumping back into that option. A six to ten. And 
pushing and shoving continues. It's been chippy since before the game got underway. On the 25. Pitt trying to engineer a drive here and complete for the first down. And a fumble on the play. It's loose and scooped up by Duke. The Blue Devils have it back. Brandon Hill. It's a great job of Singleton, 16. He's chasing the play from behind and just whips at the ball. And that's what gets it loose. And you think about Matt Guerreri, who we talked about, he wants to know where you are when the whistle blows. Think about this Duke defense. On the field, basically the entire second quarter, they catch a break on the muffed pump because you don't want to get creased by the option. Third down and one. Pitt says they have a stop, but they're starting to move the chains. That's going to be a first down. You know, Pitt not doing a good job of taking the football away coming into the game. Done a tremendous job of it tonight. Fourth quarter getting underway on the carry. And third and three, and they get it. Deion Jackson. 26 to 10, Pitt. Harris looking to throw. Looking for the end zone, but incomplete. Flags down. Big Mo has jumped right into the camp of the Duke Blue Devils and into the fourth quarter. Harris to roll, end zone again, but incomplete, and another flag down. And it's going to be a late hit. Harris with a handoff. Jackson trying to bear his way forward. And he is in a touchdown. So Harris trying to punch in another score. And a handoff here. Calhoun over the end zone. And I'm not sure he got it, but they say he did. They say he did for the two-point conversion. Walked up in there. It's blitz zero. Durant does a good job of just getting enough of Ford. Oh, and man, Calhoun. That is awfully close. As he's getting to the perimeter, it's a good thing he's got the ball in his left hand. His left foot ends up stepping out of bounds, and I just wonder if he, you know, that left foot is outside the pylon. Yeah, they're looking at this one too. And they should look at it because his left foot is outside the pylon, but that ball looks like it may sneak across. Mm, I think it maybe does sneak across before mm. his left foot touches out of bounds. Yes, oh, so close. Second down and two. Carter again. Who dazzled against Duke last year with 137 yards. Let's toss it down to Katie George. Missing at the moment. Pitt 0 for 5. Their last five third downs. They turn it over on a big pick by Serenoid. And a huge turnover once again by the Pitt Panthers. He, coming. he thinks guys are coming, and they're going to take Serenoid, the defensive tackle, and just drop him out into the throwing lane. Kenny Pickett is trying to hit a shallow cross, but the defensive tackle has dropped back into the throwing lane. What a great call. Can't credit Matt Guerrero enough for how creative that call was there on a third and five. Got to have My Pitt with three consecutive possessions, ending with a turnover. Harris going to be taken down by Amir Watts. You see Watts is just going to come over the left guard. Really nice swim move by Watts and he's able to track Harris down. And On the 34-yard line of Pittsburgh. Harris will step up. He's got a lot of room here. And a big, big game. And that's what Quentin Harris can do. Team. Third and one. Straight forward to pick up a first down. Going to be third and short. They're going to go quick. Here's Calhoun. Trying to cut back inside. And got it. He'll keep it. Trying to pull his way inside. And he got there. Touchdown. Well, Quentin Harris has had an amazing night. Trying for two. 
Harris again, straight ahead, so close, and he got in. And the game is tied at 26. Listen, they fake it to Jackson, and it's just, you know, Quentin Harrison, his will to the end zone. He's not in there. Somewhat surprised that Ford Progress, you know, a whistle wasn't blown as Ford Progress stopped, and then just a push into the end zone. But it, regardless, outstanding effort by Quentin Harris fighting his way into the end zone. On the handoff is Jacques Louis as he scampers out of bounds. But there's been a rumor in the second half. Pick up the fire again. Going long and incomplete. He wanted Mack, but not that time. Standing back at the 20 to receive it. And a low punt. And he'll dive ahead shy of the 40-yard line. Harris to pass. Quick dive. And connects. He gets it to Jake Bobo. Collarbone surgery. And Jake Bobo does a good job of just winning on the slant. Always a quarterback. He'll be a quarterback <laughs> forever. Third down and seven. He'll throw it again. Incomplete. Intended for Calhoun. Fourth and seven. They will punt with 5.44 left. Now it's going to be a fake. And they're going to throw it and nearly intercept it again. They certainly look ready for it. 5.39 left. And pick it off the pump fake. And complete. And a big hitter here. And a first down to Jacques Louis. Can he pick it? He's trying to work Griffin Stewart to the flat. Doesn't like it. Pumps it. The defense kind of gets disoriented with that pump fake. Part of the running back. He'll take the handoff and cut to his left. Still on his feet. And finally goes down a helmet off on the play. Todd Sibley, the back. Carter. Lost it. But the ball was down. It was down. 26-24 Pitt. But Pitt to punt. And a fair catch by Blackwell. He set it up for the Duke Blue Devils at first and 10 and trailing by two. He'll throw again and complete. And a big stick. And a flag down as well. A facility about 100 yards away. Quick dish and the connection to Calhoun. And nearly broke it free. Jalen Calhoun with a big reception. Five receptions tonight. Harris again to throw. Over the middle. And caught. Jackson. Jackson for the end zone. Touchdown. Deion Jackson rumbles in. And the Duke Blue Devils jump in front. It was really put creative play call. They're running corner routes right here. That is to draw these defenders out wide. Now watch what they do here. They're going to move Jackson up the middle of the field, a little wiggle, and he's going to run right down the middle as Brightwell tries to attack him. And so you widen the safeties, and then you just shoot your tail back right past that middle linebacker. It is a really well-designed and timed-up play in terms of the call. Good execution after missing it earlier in the first half. And you've got to say this about Quentin Harris. He had an awful first half. They'll keep it again. Looking to throw for the end zone and incomplete. In the fourth quarter. A.J. Woods inside the five-yard line. So 125 remaining and coming up after the game, all ACC. What are moments like this before? He certainly has tested receivers. Look at the throw here, and it's incomplete. And a flag. Flags down on a play. Complete but flags. Pass interference. 
defense, number 49. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. 85-pound running back that's got good speed adjusting to the football. It was Duke's first penalty of the second half. They get to launch this one and complete to Mac. One-on-one -on -one coverage, if they continue to do it, I would think Pickett challenges it. Matthews with a catch in traffic in a big game. Aaron Matthews. Pickett looking downfield. Directing traffic. And he throws, and that one is complete. What a catch there by French with flags again. You have French inside playing with wide safeties. Expect Pickett to work the middle. And a tough catch there by Jacques Louis. Eventually stopped by Blackwell. Finally going to convert the second half on a third down. 0 for 6. And it will. It's Carter spinning free. Headed for the end zone. He's in for the touchdown. The lead Carter on the strike by Kenny Pickett from 26 yards. You see everyone coming in here. Basically, it's man across the board. You see the man of coverage across the board, and they're just going to leak Valik Carter out here, and he's uncovered. You know, somebody's got to peel with him, and so it's a bust unless they're asking McSwain, the defensive tackle, to do it, which is an impossible job, which is why Valik Carter is so wide open. Kenny Pickett does a good job of just retreating, giving enough ground, and then it's tough to make a tackle on Carter in the open field. His late game situations have helped the Pitt Panthers with their composure here down the stretch. That's going to be knocked away, almost picked off. Harris to pass, pressure on him. Ball is loose. And Pitt has the football. Patrick Jones forcing a fumble. Ends up getting beat inside by Jones, does a good job of splitting it. There's no presence from the back inside as he's releasing outside. And will take a look to see if the arm is going forward on this play. Mm. And it would be their fifth consecutive victory over the Duke Blue Devils. So Pitt can start the celebration. It'll be a 33 to 30 victory over Duke here on the road tonight at Wallace Way Stadium.